Let's talk about there, there, and there. Even fluent English speakers and writers sometimes get these mixed up. But after this video, you won't be one of them. We're going to talk about how to use each one properly with a few very simple tips that will help you remember their correct usage going forward. To put it very simply, there can be a place, there shows ownership, and there means they are. But there are a few more important details. Let's take a closer look starting with the one that has more uses than the other two. There, spelt T-H-E-R-E, -E, is often used to talk about a location, a place, or a point. It's the opposite of here. This is actually one of the things that can help you remember the proper use of the word. There includes the word here. Here or there. Both are places. There is used in five different situations. As a noun, as an adjective, as an adverb, as a pronoun, and as an exclamation or interjection. As a noun, it refers to a location, like in the examples, we'll do our presentation there, or we walked from there back to the office. As an adjective, there is used to describe a noun. For example, my colleagues are always there for me, or the customer service teams are there to help. As an adverb, there describes a verb. In this case, it often describes where an action is taking place, like in stop there before moving forward, or let's wait there until our team's ready. There is also used as a pronoun, a word used instead of a noun. In this case, it often introduces a sentence. For example, there may be a better way of marketing this or there is a meeting on Tuesday. There is also used as an interjection. An interjection is a single word that stands apart from the rest of a statement that's punctuated with an exclamation mark. An interjection serves no real grammatical purpose other than expressing emotion. There is commonly used to express satisfaction or sudden emotion. For example, there, do you believe me now? Or there, I knew you'd get the job. As an exclamation, there is used with other words in a sentence, often to comfort someone like in, there, there, don't let them get to you. In many cases, you'll notice there is used to talk about more abstract things, not just physical places. It can take the place of more conceptual things, like in these sentences there you go again, or is there something we can agree on? You'll notice there are certain word combinations that often accompany the word there, over there, in there, under there, I'll be there, there you go, there you have it, there it is, I'm there now. In most cases, the word there is a noun. It takes the place of a noun or it describes a noun or a verb. All of these different uses can be difficult to memorize, but when you see how the other their versions are used, it takes out a lot of the guesswork. If you're interested in learning English faster, download the free PDF we've created on 12 effective strategies to improve your English. It can be downloaded in the description box below. Now on to the other two forms, there and there. There, spelt T-H-E-I-R, is what we call a possessive adjective. It's used when talking about something that belongs to a group of people, something that belongs to them. It shows possession or ownership, like in the examples, their client is on the phone. It's their account. Their budget is growing this year. In all cases, there is followed by a noun. Their client, their account, their budget. The word theirs is a little different. Theirs, with an S on the end, is an independent possessive pronoun, meaning that which belongs to them. 
while it also shows ownership. The word there is always used before a noun to show possession. And the word theirs is never used to modify a noun. Instead, theirs takes the place of a noun to show ownership by someone else. The other independent possessive pronouns are ours, yours, his, hers, mine, and its. You'll see in the following examples, theirs with an S can be used without a noun. It is theirs, just like theirs. I like theirs. As we get to the last form of there, let us know in the comments section why you're improving your English. There are so many reasons to work on improving English, we're curious as to what yours is. There, spelt T-H-E-Y apostrophe R-E, is the contraction of they are. This one can be remembered by the apostrophe, which tells us that two words are being put together combined into one word. In this case, they is being combined with are. They is a third person plural pronoun. It's a word for more than one person, a group that doesn't include the speaker. Are is a verb, a present tense form of the verb to be. There can be used in the following examples. They're working on the same project together. If they're right, we've got a lot of work to do. They're getting the job done. The easiest way to know if this is the correct form is to replace there with they are and see if the sentence still makes sense. In all cases where there is the correct form, they are can be used instead. They are working on the same project together. If they are right, we've got a lot of work to do. They are getting the job done. There is quite an easy way to remember when to use each of these. There includes the word here, reminding you that this form can be used when talking about a place, here or there. There includes the word heir. An heir is someone who inherits, who takes ownership of something like a royal title or property when someone in their family passes away. An heir owns something passed down. There indicates ownership. With there, the apostrophe is telling you that two words are being put together. In sentences using there, you can always use they are and have the sentence mean the same thing. There and there have very specific uses. Chances are, if you're not using it in one of these specific cases, there should be the word to use. Thank you again for clicking on this lesson and watching it to this point. If you found it helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to see our future content on English fluency. Until next time, keep learning and we'll talk soon.